Guys, this is a heated debate. Everyone has their favorite way of packing, but which one is the winner? So we are putting Shona to the test, of course, uh, mm -hmm. to test all of the packing <laughs> methods. And yeah. Shona, we have to start with what we're actually putting in the suitcase. So yeah. let's start with what's in the suitcase to begin with. So to make it fair, I packed all the suitcases with the exact same content. Mm -hmm. And in my head, it was like a weekend getaway. I didn't want to make it too enormous, you know, yes. or also unrealistically small. Okay. So for clothing, I have a pair of jeans, I have two tops, I have a sweater, I have two dresses, you know, cute for going out at night. This, yep. is, this lace one's cute. These are all from H&M. Nice. Then I have a sleeping um, little jumper, cute yeah. little jumper jumper, um, and two bras. Beautiful bras. And three pairs of underwear. Okay, I pack about 14. I know. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> those are all from Olivia Rose. Then mm -hmm. I went to Aldo and I grabbed a pair of flats for walking around touristing. Yep. Of cute heels to go with your dresses, of course. I have a crossbody bag, again, for that touring around. A clutch for going out at night. Yes. Travel size toiletry case. And then a full size, although compact, hair dryer. Love I love you this for one. that. Uh, Con Air, amazing. They also had a compact flat iron. Nice. So also from Con Air. So all of that fit into a carry-on size suitcase. This mm -hmm. beauty is from Hayes. I'm kind of crazy about the color. I'm having a love affair. Beautiful. Um, and it's 21 inch carry-on. Okay. okay. So that's standard carry-on size. So we're taking everything for our weekend trip. It's all going in a carry-on. Method, packing method number one. Method number one was folding. It's yep. probably what most people do. The average person just folds it all up and puts it in. Yes. So I tested that one yes. ahead of time. You can see this in the the viz that we're showing you right now. Yeah. You're folding everything up, you're putting in the case, there's there's no real magic to it. No, nope, no, and I wasn't even being, you know, to Shona about the packing. I wanted to be really realistic for a lot of these things. Okay. And so as you see, you, see, you just put everything in as, as it fits. Okay. Now, method number two. Yes. Uh, I'll get to, now I wanted to show you the best, when it comes to all your hard stuff, I kind of call it the hard stuff. Yeah. A lot of suitcases now are divided into this two-sided. Mm -hmm. It's really good if you can keep all your hard stuff to one side. That way you won't catch on pulls on sweaters and pulls on dresses and things like that. Right. So here's how I packed all of the hard stuff on the one side. So we had that toiletry uh, case. Okay. The flat iron came with a travel case. So That's I put awesome. it in that. I know, isn't oh it? Oh my God. That can almost be a cute little bag. Mm -hmm. The clutch. Yeah. The flat pair of shoes. The high heels, yes. the hair dryer, the obviously crossbody bag. Now the underwear, I packed into a packing cube, and I actually use these packing cube cubes myself. These are by Hayes, and they're made from recycled water bottles. Oh, that's nice. um, yeah, and so these are good because they keep your delicates safe. Oh, so in stuff. here are the two bras and the three pairs of underwear. Okay? okay. Now for all of the suitcases I talk about, this side is identical for the exact same for each case. So we can all adapt that. Put your hard stuff on one side, regardless yep. of what pack and me packing method you're using. Right. Packing method number two. Mm -hmm. is using cubes. It's using cubes. Like okay. this packing cube I use for the lingerie, you can get them full-sized. So all of the clothes are packed in, in this case, in two cubes. Mm -hmm. This speaks to the organizer in me because yes. I love how compact everything is. When you get to your destination, you pull them out, you unzip them. If it's just folded things, they can, this can pop right in a drawer. Okay. You know, you don't even have to unpack them. Yeah. But they're folded all in their own way in each of the cubes. So it's almost like the folding method, but it's taken it one step further because everything in its own cube. And yeah. maybe you can fit a little bit more in there. We don't know. We'll yeah. know by the end. Yep, you you'll know by there. there. Okay, so that's the cube method. Okay. So we've done folding, we've done cubing. Now we're going to talk about rolling. We've all rolling. heard about the roll. Oh. I've heard that it's got to be the Boy. roll. You got to roll. You everything. are a roller. You preach the roll. Yes. I tell you, like people in stores, people in the streets, are like passionate you about it. Roll it. Okay, so again, this side is all the same as I already covered. Yeah. The rolling side, same amount of content. Look at that. Okay, so look it at all this extra half room. of the suitcase wow. when it came to how much we put in it. And rolling, for those who kind of aren't getting the concept, is yeah. you've got your whatever the piece is, let's say this sweater, I'm going to fold it in half, you fold it into a skinnier version, yeah. and then as tight as you can, because this is all about making it tight, 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 tight. As yeah. tight as you can, roll it up, obviously, into a roll, and tuck it in. So that's the same amount of content in here. So you can put way more, I mean, almost, not quite, but almost yes. double the amount of stuff in this. You know how I feel about roll. that. Oh, oh, girl, do I ever know Pack how you feel about that. Pack that up to the brim. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so rolling really works. And how do we feel? Like wrinkles? Is yeah. that helpful with the roll? No. Oh, no. Gosh, okay. no. So it's wrinkly. the opposite. You have to be okay with ironing at the hotel, oh. or if you're a jeans and t-shirt kind of person, yes. sweaters and jeans, casual getaway. Yes. Um, but that's you're, if you're packing cotton and linen and dress shirts. If you're a man or right. something like that, not for you. Well, maybe there's room for my steamer though. Yes, because you have <laughs> all that space. Okay, so we have folding, we have cubes, we have rolling, and finally we have. This is my method, okay. and I pack with hangers. Hangers. Because I hate going to a hotel room. There's never enough hangers. I like all my never. stuff hanging. I even like a t-shirt hanging. Okay. And so I pack my clothes with hangers. I so watch your I... Instagram stories, and when you <laughs> open up your suitcase and you take everything out and it's on a hanger, I hear angels singing. That's it. <laughs> That's right. It's and when, beautiful. When I get there, I just have to pull it up, pop it in the closet. When it's time to go back, yeah. I, it's not hard. This is not hard. It just Fold. zigzag it. Fold. Until Fold. the hanger's flat. Now, the key is you have to use those really skinny velvet hangers. That's worth noting. I find it's good good for wrinkles. It's not, you still might get a press here and there, but because you're hanging everything up right away, yeah. your wrinkles are probably going to fold out, like fall out, depending on what it is that you're packing. Now, in terms of what you can fit in your case, obviously the whole suit, the whole side has been taken up here. So it's not yep. like there's room for extra, um, like we have with the rolling. Right. But because you've got the flat hangers, and everything's put flat, yep. you're getting just as much in. You're getting just as much in, you could fit like no a less. little bit more into this than the folding method, okay. for example. This for me is all about convenience yes. and about comfort in the hotel room because <laughs> I don't, yes. I'm not into packing everything into drawers and things like that I in don't hotel do that rooms. Either. I like everything hung and again, I, I don't want to have to call down for more hangers and then they bring you two and I'm like, no, I wanted like 20. Like, yes. I don't want yes. two. I want, yes. so, um, so that's why I like, my method is this method. Well guys, I think we need to pick a winner. You've done oh. the scientific research. You've tried all the methods. Yeah. And the winner, the most efficient packing method is... If it's about getting the most out of your suitcase, it's obviously the roll. The roll! <laughs> And the people who are rollers, I've never tried it, and maybe I should. Yeah. Um, you're gonna fit more into that suitcase. You are, but pack that steam iron or make sure the hotel room has <laughs> an iron. So it's up to you.